What is up Capricorn? We're going to be doing your May reading for 18th to the 24th. I'm super excited to get into this. Earth signs have been killing it today. I've been loving the spreads I've seen for you guys. Um, so Cappy, let's get right into it. I'm going to do a past, present, future spread with Crystal Visions Tarot. Three cards for past, present, future. Clarifiers with Spellcasters. If you guys want the decks, they're linked in the description box. Also, just a reminder, our personal readings for the month of May are 50% off. So if you want to book a personal reading, go ahead, click on my website in the description box, shoot me a message at the bottom, and we can book your reading within the next day or two. I got them done really quick. They're hour long, and it's just for you. So also, if you want to see the Capricorn monthly reading, it's over an hour long, posted on Patreon. You will have access to it if you sign up to be a patron, as well as access. Wow, a lot of major arcana just popped out. Holy crap, Cappy as well as moon cycle, energy shift, retrograde readings, because we're in retrograde week, so things are going to be intense right now. So, Cappy, let's see what's going on. Let's see what's going on for you. Show me what I need to see for my Capricorns for May 18th to the 24th. Please hear it. I just heard caution. Show me what I need to see for my Capricorns. It's strange, because I heard caution and abundance, so maybe you need to be careful with your money right now. Make sure you're saving. Things that are unexpected, the positive will happen, but just be careful with your money right now, Capricorn. Wow, and my protection candle just blew out when I shuffled. So let's see what's going on. Let's see what's going on, Cappy. Show me what I need to see for my Capricorns. Cappy, you need to make sure you're grounded and protect yourself right now, please. Show me what I need to see for my Capricorns. This feels heavy, Cappy. I'm not even going to lie. It feels heavy. Past, mm -hmm, present, future, yep. Holy crap. Yeah, you're ending a crazy cycle, Cappy. You're in the middle of starting something, but trying to release something at the same time. Overall energy, there's all the movement. It feels very boom, boom, boom. It does. Eight of Wands, a lot of communication, a lot of travel. This feels like you just taking action, just getting shit done. I like this. I like this. There's a lot of universal energies at work, though. Okay, so recent past, we have the Unknown card. This is unique to this deck. The Unknown card is basically the universe's way of saying, you don't need to know what's going on right now. You just need to have faith, right? It's not necessary for you to know the why, the how, any of that. It's the surrender. And that's causing some instability within you. Because Capricorn... We're planners, right? We like to plan things. We like to know how and what things are going to be happening. We like to follow our checklist. Um, and the universe is basically saying, ain't going to happen this time, Cappy. But it's a passionate new beginning. It's what you want, so have faith. I like this. Libra energy with the justice card. Current situation. There you are. I love this. Showing up in your own reading. King of Pentacles. Nine of Wands. You're giving up on something to start something new. Page of Pentacles. Okay, Page of Pentacles, they're students. They're setting solid foundations. It's new beginnings. I like that it's a pentacle because it's basically saying slow and steady wins the race to me, right? You're learning where you need to put your energy, where you need to put your time to create stability because in the past, you were doing things that weren't helping you. That I feel like they were exhausting you, to be honest. I like the progression now. You're going from the eight to the nine of wands. So like I said, you're completing some pretty tough cycles. Immediate future, the surrender and all the work that you're putting into whatever project this is, is bringing in a new beginning, but it's overwhelming you because it's almost like you don't know where it's going and you're trying to surrender. You're trying to have faith in it. You're trying to be positive. You're trying to stay on track and be focused to create this new beginning. And it's coming, but it's just causing anxiety because the universe ain't telling you <laughs> the outcome, right? You're, you're just having faith. And I like it. You're very optimistic, but I can feel the stress, the anxiety of not knowing. Not knowing. It's, that's all it feels like, is not knowing. It feels very business related. Very business, very home, work life related. Just, it's setting your solid foundation for the future. Show me what I need to see for my Capricorns. We're going to clarify everything, every card here. I have to. It's just so heavy. It really is. Abundance. I keep hearing abundance. So it's coming. It is coming, but have faith. Yeah, you need to have faith. Tell me about the Eight of Wands. This is a massive lesson to surrender, Cappy, and it's hard. It's so hard because I feel like you're on the cusp of surrender, fear, surrender, fear, and it's kind of a flip-flop, and you're trying to force yourself to stay positive. 
Tell me about the Eight of Wands. And you're doing great, Cappy. You are. You're doing it. I know it's hard. It's not easy. Tell me about the Eight of Wands. Hangman. <laughs> yeah. There's a surrender. But just hanging out, waiting. Okay, I'm in the eight in between. I just got to keep putting in my work. Oh my gosh. And look what's underneath that. The Ten of, ten of uh, Cups in reverse. Your happiness is on the way. It's delayed though. The Eight always leads to the Ten, right? Oh, I love this. I love this. It feels great, but it feels so much anxiety. Like, oh my gosh, how much longer do I have to hang here? How much longer do I have to wait? And you're trying to, you're trying to surrender. It's the sacrifice, right? Okay, so let's talk about the unknown card. Why is the unknown card here? That's your overall energy for the week. So just, just hang in there. Oh yeah, there's something with speaking your truth. Wow, Queen of Swords, speaking your truth. Yeah, because my throat tightened up as soon as I started asking about the unknown card. This is you learning to be in your power, to not be ashamed of what you want to go. <clears throat> wow, yeah. There's people who aren't going to support what you're trying to build. And it's kind of your way of, I'm going to have faith that this is going to be successful. There's going to be people that doubt you, especially if you're starting a business. There's going to be people that throw those statistics. Well, this amount of business is fail each year. And this is Spirit's way of saying, forget that. Stand in your power. Stand in your truth. Queen of Swords, more Libra energy. This definitely has to do with communication, though. And you have the Eight of Wands as the overall energy. There's people that are going to be doubting you. And that's also triggering some fear in you. But that's the test. It's not really a test. I want to say it's an obstacle because it's not a test. You've passed it. You're pushing it aside. You are. You really are, Cappy. <clears throat> yeah, world. You're ending that. You're ending it. Beautiful. Beautiful. You're heading into a brand new cycle. And you know it, which is why you're speaking your truth and you're sticking to your guns. I love it. We just don't know what the cycle is, right? <laughs> Unknown card. And they're not going to tell me even if I wanted to clarify it. Tell me about the world card. Let's see. Let's see. I'm not going to take those. I need a shuffle. Ooh, beautiful sun, bottom of the deck. Huh, this is crazy. Okay, let's just move on to the Ace of Wands. I'll come back to the world at the end if we need to. Why is the Ace of Wands here, Spirit? Why is the Ace of Wands here for Cappy? Magician, like I said, you've manifested your passionate new beginning. You stood in your power. It's coming in, okay? It's just taking time to go into the physical realm. This is also telling me that you have doubts about what you've manifested, this new beginning. Don't have doubts. Do not have doubts because it's going to work against you manifestation-wise. Tell me more. Why is the magician in reverse, spirit? Confusion. There's the confusion. Is this really going to happen? Not having clarity, not being able to see the outcome, not being able to see your future basically, right? It's that uncertainty, that fear that's creeping in. Get rid of it. You don't need it. You don't need it. You're doing it. You're doing it great. Okay. So tell me about justice. Why is justice here in the recent past? The imbalance is all the seven of cups. It's all the fear. It's all the doubt. Those are low vibrational energies, fear and doubt. Oh my gosh, guys. Wow. There's doubt. There's doubt that you are going to have all the love and the victory and the happiness that you want. Ten of cups, queen of cups, six of wands. Talk about freaking happiness coming in. With justice in reverse, though, there's an imbalance here. It just feels like fear. It feels like straight fear. Not thinking you're deserving of this. Not thinking that you've done enough to deserve this. And you have, Cappy. You have. Scarcity. This is scarcity mindset. That's what this is. You have a scarcity mindset about everything, about money, about love, about emotion, about victory. It's, a, it's like you have this connotation that you need to work really, really hard to have this, but that's a limitation you're putting on yourself. 909 on the timer, 911 on the timer when I just said both of those, right? Um, <clears throat> Cappy, you're, you're going to great places, but there's so much doubt and limitations and that's all this crap that these people are telling you right all the fear that people are putting in your head all that you can't do it and you're like well i effing can and i'm gonna effing do it and i'm gonna show you and it's like you're trying to convince yourself but there's still that little lingering voice in the back of your head telling yourself who am i kidding and you're trying so hard to overcome that so hard to overcome it and you are so let's check out the current situation i want to check you out as the king of pentacles <clears throat> Why is the King of Pentacles here for Capricorn? Why is the King of Pentacles here for my Capricorns? 
Show me what I need to see for the King of Pentacles for Kathy. Nine of Pentacles, there you go. There's your independence, there's your stability. Nine to the 10, it's on the way. It is on the way. This is the card before the Empress, right? That's the mini Empress. That's standing in your power, having all the stability you need. This is the current situation, having faith in yourself to be able to succeed in whatever you put your mind to, Cappy. Very grounded, very nurturing energy. I like it. You're putting work, you're growing. It's definitely business related. Some of you are starting a business. <clears throat> Knight of Pentacles, yeah, but there's the hesitance. How do I set the solid foundation? How do I take action? How do I get my one last pentacle to get to my 10, right? I wanna know why that Knight of Pentacles is in reverse. It just feels like hesitance to take action to move forward. Tell me more about the Knight of Pentacles. It's fear. <clears throat> there's a lot of fear. Needing to ask others for help. There's a reluctant energy to do that because you feel it's almost like a sense of weakness and it's not it's not tell me about the knight of pentacles why is the knight of pentacles in reverse spirit king of wands yeah you, it's it's a sense of weakness the king of wands is a very powerful manifester crazy powerful manifester they can create anything they want in reverse this is doubt that you're going to be able to create it right Doubt that you're going to be able to take the correct steps. Get rid of the damn doubt because you're doing it. Nine of Pentacles, you're doing it. This fear and doubt's getting in your way. Tell me about the Nine of Wands. You got the Nine of Swords in reverse, the Seven of Pentacles. So you're releasing the anxiety and you're starting to put in the effort. Okay? This is you giving up the scarcity mindset, giving up the anxiety, two nines, I like this, two nines, okay, nine of swords, nine of wands, both in the reverse, you're giving up the burdens, you're giving up the anxiety, why, because you have clarity that you are being self-deceptive, and it's strange that I pulled them out in these two pairs when they weren't even together and they were face down, just intuitively, I want to grab these two together, even though they're face down on the table, you see that you've been self-deceptive, that you've been basically feeding yourself bullshit, right? That you've been telling yourself the wrong things. And that's creating the release of all the anxiety, the release of the stress and the opportunity to put in the effort and have that shit grow. Going from the seven of pentacles to the nine of pentacles, right? Releasing, this is a surrender, the nine of wands. You're giving up the scarcity mindset. Oh, I love it. Page of pentacles. I'm gonna do that again, because that was weird. Tell me about the Page of Pentacles spirit. Let's shuffle. It was judgment in reverse, but it wasn't supposed to be there for those of you asking. Tell me about the Page of Pentacles. You're realizing that any pain and instability you experienced in the past has actually led you to this new beginning. You, you're having a sense of gratitude for all the pain and instability that you've already been through, right? You're realizing it was part of your path. It had to happen so you can start this new beginning. Because remember, you're going into a brand new cycle in the recent past. I don't feel that you're currently feeling this heartbreak and instability. I don't. I feel like this is the realization of this had to happen. This had to happen. I had to have all those haters. I had to have all that negativity. I had to have all those people doubting me so I can say, you know what? I know what I'm supposed to do. I know my path. I know my destiny. And I'm just going to start working toward it. I'm going to start building my foundation. I'm going to learn new things. I'm going to move in a new direction. I'm going to pave my new path. And that's why in the immediate future, we get the fool. I love it. This is like the aha moment. Aha moment. There was a lot of betrayal from people in your past though, which is why it's hard to accept help from others because you feel that they're not, you just want to do it yourself. If I do it myself, I'm going to accomplish it. If I ask for others, they might betray me or they might screw it up. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's talk about the nine of swords in the immediate future. What's this anxiety these sleepless nights? Why is the nine of swords here? Wow, we got a true pair on the board. You want a partner though. You want like a romantic partner. That's going to fulfill your happiness. You're like, I, I can do my own solid foundation for finances and home life. But what really gives me anxiety is this feeling of loneliness. When I go to bed at night and I don't have someone to share what I've created with, to share my happiness with, to share my abundance with, that's what actually makes me feel 
sad, anxiety, stress. There's a sense of loneliness. Although you're creating your destiny, you're creating your path, there's also a want to have a strong partnership. And you're calling it in. The closer and closer you get to your abundance, the closer and closer you get to your soul path, you're going to attract people of that same vibration. And that's what's coming in the immediate future. But let's check out the full card. Let's see what the new beginning is. Why is the full card here for my Capricorns? <clears throat> I like that there's a lot of water on the board because even though you're grounded, your earth energy, you are following intuitively what your heart is telling you. I thought a card flipped over. I guess not. Okay. Why is the fool here, spirit? Tell me about the fool card. Why is the fool here for my Capricorns? Why is the fool here for my Capricorns? Who? way too many. Way too many. It's like the whole stack. Why is the fool here for my Capis? The hermit. Yeah, you're coming out of introspection. You're coming out of the healing. You're coming out of your time in solitude. Beautiful Virgo energy. Tell me more about the fool. Beautiful. Tell me more about the fool. Someone sees you as beautiful though. Like someone's watching you from afar, to be honest with you. What's this? Judgment in reverse. There's indecision about the next step to take. As soon as you come out of the hermit mode, there's indecision. There's indecision here with judgment about the new beginning. Because you've ended a karmic cycle and it's almost like it's hard for you to release the old, what you're accustomed to, because this is so new and it's so happy and you're, you're not, you're not accustomed to this. And you're like, well, hold up, hold up. There's good shit happening. When's the sky going to fall, right? That's the indecision. That's the fear. That's the doubt about the new beginning. Like, I can't move forward because I feel like I'm about to get crapped on. Yeah. Too many spirits. Show me more about judgment and the fool. Yup. There's the fear. There's, the, I don't know how to feel. I don't know how to feel. I'm not used to this. I'm not used to the happiness. This is confusing me. I can't move forward. I'm scared of the new beginning. What if I fail? You have to stop that. You got to stop this. You're doubting it. Stop doubting it. It's coming and it's going to be amazing. It's going to be amazing, Cappy. Yeah, see, it's creating hesitance. I don't like this. It's amazing. What's coming to you is amazing. Please don't be hesitant. This is immediate future. You have full control over this. Knight of Wands in reverse is telling me that I don't know if I can really create this. I don't know if I can really take action on this. And you have it in the current situation too. How do I know it's going to be stable? How do I know it's going to be successful? Stop it. It's happening. It's happening, but you need to accept it. You need to go with the flow. We're definitely going to go back to the world card after this. Tell me about the fool and judgment in reverse. Tell me more. Yep, there's the lack of confidence. Because the uncertainty, strength in the king of swords, the lack of confidence because you don't know where it's going. The uncertainty, not having clarity on the situation, not being able to see what's going to come of this. Stop it. Just stop. Stop. This is happening because the universe is making it happen. You have the hermit, judgment, and strength. On the Fool card, you got some more healing to do for this new beginning because all you're doing is doubting yourself. It's coming. The universe is bringing it to you. These are all universal energies. You can't avoid this. So you got to face it. You need to surrender and accept the unknown because something beautiful is coming. Let's talk about the Eight of Pentacles. There you go. Releasing all the toxicity, releasing all the crap, putting in the hard work. Devil, how many more major arcana are we going to get, Cappy? There you are, showing up in your own reading. This also tells me that you're not in your full power. You're trying to release the toxic toxicity, but you're struggling to. There's resistance to it, and you're working hard on it. You are. <sighs> okay, let's. why is the devil here in reverse with the Eight of Pentacles? Why is the devil here in reverse with the Eight of Pentacles for my Capricorns? Page of Swords and the Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune is turning in your favor. This is destiny. It's moving forward. You went from the world in the past to the Wheel of Fortune in the future. It's going to move forward whether you are ready or not, Cappy. And you need to accept that. You need to surrender. You need to stop being so scared, so doubtful about it. Let's see. Tell me more about the Wheel of Fortune. What's this Wheel of Fortune for Capricorn? What's this Wheel of Fortune for Capricorn? What's the Wheel of Fortune for Capricorn? Please, Spirit, show me what I need to see about the Wheel of Fortune. Huh. Copy. This is all self-imposed. 
happy you're doing this to yourself. You really are. You need to get out of your head. You got the five of swords, knight of cups in reverse, and two of cups in reverse. This is your soul's path. This is what's emotionally going to be fulfilling to you. And the conflict you're creating in your own mind about this cycle moving forward, it's a scarcity mindset. It's just going to create more conflict for you. The more you resist it, the more conflict we get. All right, tell me about the world in the recent past. What's this new cycle consist of? Brand new, stable, freaking beginning, Cappy. Page of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands. Brand new, stable beginning. That's where you're heading. Uh, what advice do we have for Capricorn? What advice do we have for Capricorn? Stop being defensive, Seven of Wands. Stop being defensive, stop being guarded. Because bottom of the deck, Ten of Pentacles. Your stability's coming in, Cappy. It's coming. Get out of your own head, get out of your own way. The universe is bringing it to you. Get the happiest card in the deck in the immediate future. The sun, right? You get the sun and love, happiness, abundance, love, prosperity, success. Just let down your guard. Stop doubting this. Look at your immediate future. The fool, the wheel of fortune, and the sun card. I don't know how much more beautiful a reading could get. It's coming. Stop freaking out. Whew. Cappy, this is what I have for you. I love you. I wish you the best. If you want a personal reading, they are 50% off for the month of May. Just shoot me a message on my site in the description box and let me know that you subscribe to the channel. Um, check out Patreon for the monthly Capricorn video and I'll see y'all next time. Bye guys.